okay welcome to another part of advertising this is another part about the body i think it's the second part but he will talk about some articles and it's important that you make some agreement about like here placement of the advertising and when you create an advertising it's important to know where you're going to place it are you going to use third parties services who's going to pay for those services it's really important that you make clear appointments or clear agreements about those kind of things because in the future you don't want to have problem about the costs or the costs that are made and you don't want to pay for those costs while other people are getting money for it so what you need to do is make a clear plan make a clear plan what you're going to do and make sure you know okay it's going to cost around this much and you need to charge your client about this much if you need to pay up front or whatever what you need to do is you need to ask for a deposit if you don't ask for a deposit you have to pay out of your own money and you never know when they are going to pay you that's why you need to ask the deposit and make sure you explain it well because some people they put a number and people don't understand what the number is coming from and sometimes if your client don't understand it it's going to be hard for them to sign a contract or pay you so keep that in mind sometimes i see people they come up with big numbers and they'll be like what are you doing if you give a good presentation and you know what someone's looking for it's going to be fine so keep that in mind keep that in mind when you do that placement of your advertising another thing is compensation Compensation is really important. That's technically your, your bread, your revenue, your profit, call it whatever you want. It's important to put in a contract how much you're going to charge. Are you going to charge per hour? Are you going to charge per month? Are you going to charge per week? Whatever. Make sure you put it in a contract and make sure you make a list. If you put per hour, what you're going to do for them. If you're going to charge one fixed rate per month, make sure you put what you're going to do with it because some people they discuss with you or they agree with you with a for a fixed rate but then they let you work too much and the question is do you want that or do you have enough time to do that i don't think so so think about these things don't make it complicated make it simple if it's simple for you it's also simple for them but keep in mind your time is valuable keep that really in mind so compensation is one thing that's really important that you can put which you need to put in it and here we have the thing about compensation but you have exhibit another page where you can just write down exactly how you want to get paid and it will refer to that so it's an important part another thing where you need to make some agreement about it is termination and the reason I'm saying that is because sometimes you have client at the beginning is or really it, it sounds all good but down the road you will see that the client doesn't pay on time doesn't deliver the thing that you need on time and it, it affects your workflow and also it affects your business and you need to get rid of the client and then you say honestly you know what we will have something in a contract i will look at it and based on that i'll be like you know what i don't feel like working together like this and you sign a, um, a letter and based on the letter you will terminate the contract this is the nicest thing to do uh, because it can affect your business but if you do it correctly according to the contract you don't have to worry about it you cannot be like hey you know what i'm not going to meet my part of the agreement anymore you you cannot do that if you have an agreement yeah you can do that but people can sue you for that uh, so don't do that but if you follow the way how to terminate the contract you should be fine you, you will not have to go to court or whatever so it's important that you put those kind of things in a contract let's say you want to get rid of a client or you don't want to you don't want to work together anymore you can just study the contract look at the contract that you put in it and terminate it most people underestimate this this but it's important sometimes and here you see numbers of days what you can do is put it um, 30 or 90 days it depends on your business and what you're doing for your business so those are the things that i want to discuss in this part in the next part i will discuss another part of the body and then we're going to go to the outro and what you need to put in the outro if you have question about it just go to discord ask me directly i'll see what i can do for you if you're new to this channel subscribe seriously subscribe it's that simple like this video see you in the next one